This is the first in a series of, of screencasts on how to use GarageBand to record a podcast. And this first episode will look at recording your voice, editing your voice, and moving your voice around. So you can see here in the interface we have two voice tracks, male voice and female voice. And since I'm male, I'm going to delete the female voice track. So under track, I'm going to go up and I'm going to say delete track because I only need one voice track for this project and since I'm male I'll keep the one that enhances my male voice. That is done. Now this is the playhead so anytime I talk about the playhead it's this little downward pointing blue triangle that tells me at what point of the recording I am at and you want your playhead at the beginning when you start recording. Now it's somewhat confusing you can see here under male voice that I've chosen there's a little recording button. Okay, That's not the recording button you use to record. This one down here is the recording button. If you happen to click on this one and it's no longer red, it will prohibit you from recording on that track. So you just want to leave that one alone and make sure you use this button for recording. So now that I'm ready, I have my script, I'm going to record. Testing one, two, three, you can see that my voice is showing up here in both this view down here and this view up here, and it's recording along. When I'm done, the easiest way to stop is press the play button. Although you might think press the record button to stop, but when you do, it keeps playing. Um, so in the end you have to click the play button anyway to record it. So now I'll rewind it and listen to my voice track. Testing one, two, three, you can see that my voice is showing up here in both this view down here and this view up here, and it's recording along. When... All right, so my voice is as I want it. Now this, we have two different views. We have this top view of my voice track and this bottom view down here of the actual waveforms. If you don't see this view, it's the little scissors, but you need to be clicked on where it says either male or female voice. When I click the scissors, it shows me this editing track. Now this, my voice, I can slide around and you realize that you don't have to record everything at one shot. You can record segments and just put them together. I could start the next one right here and um, start recording. So if you have a three, three to five minute script you're reading, you, you don't have to read it in one shot with, and worry about making a mistake. You can stop recording at any time and just pick up from that point. But something I can do if I need to, I'm going to move the playhead to the middle of this track, and under track, I can say, um, or is it under edit, edit, I can say split. And when I say split, you notice now it's male voice one and male voice two. If I try to move it, you noticed in class, both move. It's because they're both selected. So just click somewhere else down here, then you can go back and click the one and move that around and this one. You can change their order and so on. Okay. Um, so there's a little bit about splitting and moving your voice around. I'll put them back. There we go. The other thing you can do is down in this view you can come in and you'll see the little crosshairs down here where you can select little bits to delete. If I look down here I see I have a bit of silence at the beginning. I can come in, click with my mouse right to that point and using the large delete key in my keyboard or under the edit menu you can see um, there's a delete command. I can do that and that little chunk is gone. Okay. So you can get in with these crosshairs and if you need to zoom in more, remember there are two zoom sliders. This one impacts the degree of zoom on the top view and this one impacts the degree of zoom on the bottom view. So sometimes if it's a little teeny bit you want to get rid of you need to zoom in quite a bit although then it'll look like it's moving very quickly. So that's a little tricky. Going up here in both okay so here's the word both I think. Both this view and for, for some reason if I didn't want that word both and I can now come in here and just with the delete key get rid of the word both and I can put this back together. Um, now's the reason why I'd want to zoom in on the top view because I really want to make sure it indeed is together. So I can move this over and I'm looking at the bottom view at the same time and there's still a tiny space. There we go. Now there's no space. And I can play it back. Here in this view down here Alright, so there we looked at recording your voice, splitting your voice, cropping out little bits of your voice with these crosshairs down here. Um, some other things to realize, the, there's other little icons right here. This speaker icon, if it is highlighted in blue, nothing will play that you have recorded on that track. So now if I play, I'm not going to hear anything. 
So I point that out in case you happen to do that by accident. You really don't want to use that one for this project. Um, the headphones, if you mouse over that solo or unsolo the track, gives that track prominence. You really don't want that one either. Locking the track will prohibit you from moving anything around or doing any edits, so you need to realize that one as well. Okay. So, um, and then of course that red one enables or disables the recording, but remember down here is where you record. Okay, so there are the basics on recording your voice.